Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another episode in our uh, masterclass series with the blueprints. Today we're gonna play with the... Guess what? Oh, you already read the title. Okay, good. So, fuel generators. Now, when you're gonna start out using these boys, you're gonna put like two, three, four, you know, the excess from the oil. <laughs> you turn it to fuel and put it. Well, later in the game, you're gonna have fields with... Let's see, I need one with 48, one with 62, one with 120. I even made some with 200 plus. <laughs> it's gonna be madness. One of the biggest time waster. It's making this voice. Not especially putting them down, but connecting everything and making sure that your pipes are flowing. So not only that we make the blueprint for these guys just to have them all connected and make our life easier we will also make sure that they are flowing okay that that gas that fuel is flowing in there so already did the mistake you see not enough space in there. uh i want to leave myself enough space so that's the middle line. okay let's let's begin differently here um how big are let me put where is it it flew in there so i'm gonna put one right in the corner in there, as much as i can pull it like that and like that okay now i know that my crust is gonna have to be in there okay this is the middle of the blueprint in here machine by the way i'm using the mark 3 so in here is gonna be my connection now in the back in there i want the pipe to circulate I'm gonna tell you all about it. Nevertheless, for right now we're putting down these guys. So, one in there, one in there. Leave yourself space in there for a pipe. That's all I'm telling you. Apparently, we're gonna be able to put four. It is what it is. Four is better than none, right? So, let's invent that pipe in here. Um, maybe a pipe BAG will be just ascending. Thank you very much. When you're gonna have fields, this, you ain't gonna use Mark 1 pipe bridge. No, you're gonna use Mark 2 pipe bridge, mister. Now, hmm, this is the basic setup, okay? You're gonna have your entry point here. That's um, it's satisfactory, we got a bunch of problems with the pipe in the liquid pipe pipes whatever so normally i would have chosen to make one of this in here just to make it easy for me to connect the next batch but the more connections you have the more let's say splashing in the pipes you have so i will not do that but what i will do is put in here the pipe that that one is gonna be good you know why because a pipe stretches only so long and having one already made in here is just a stand this pipe that you have on the outer side mitigates that issue with the splashing in the pipe because if your liquid whatever liquid in this case fuel you're gonna have fuel turbo fuel biofuel whatever you want to burn in there maybe ionized fuel but also rocket fuel because we have those in the game if we have 10 of this like this okay so that's 40 40 in there your fuel is gonna be pumped through here it's gonna get in that machine that machine but when it's getting in there it's making like a little wave and it goes back and it splashes it splashes whatever it creates movement in the pipe if your pipes are not filled up the third row ain't gonna have fuel because of the splashing pipe. Um, those exterior pipes in there mitigate that problem. So, if you have more than eight in a row, it's gonna be an issue. Usually, when I have five or six in a row, in this case, we're gonna have six. Guess what? Um, because it's a set of two, set of two, set of two. At the last set, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come with that pipe, 
connected. Uh, this is not gonna be in the blueprint, by the way. We're just making it for fun, just to show you what I will do in the real life. I'm gonna put a press in here. Come in this pipe in here. Uh, if you wanna make it not turn that pipe, because power pole in there, power pole, pipe pole, you just come with this way here. And you connect them all. Okay. So connect them the proper way maybe. That would be amazing. What this does. So don't forget. Six fuel generators. Six fuel generators. You're feeding your fuel through here. On three pipes. On the middle pipe. On that pipe and on that pipe as well so this one will provide fuel to the first six let's say four but the last ones in there the number 10 12 they will not have fuel so your fuel will come through these pipes exterior pipes and it's gonna push fuel inside from this side so after six of these six packs six pack well, that's good um i'm gonna put one of those connections and then continue with the next six and then put another connection so on and so forth being given that i'm only make this one for two i'm not gonna put that pipe in there but that was just to show you how it's gotta be done so that you will not have issue splashing the pipes the other thing that you should do honestly it's when that pipe was pressed in here put a one of these buffer yes, buffers whatever right in the face of that crossing here and let it fill up before starting your field of generators you want that fuel to pass through all the pipes all the pipes should be filled up all your machine should have in here 50 fuel no matter how much they burn they should be filled up and ideally you want that buffer to be filled up and choose the big one not the little one that will ensure that you have absolutely no issues with your fuel power plant because otherwise it is gonna be a pain for you right now if it's already too late and the issue started well <laughs> if your factory it's not gonna crack down and die stop everything okay so you get those pretty power poles in the middle wherever you want to put them uh i'm just gonna put them i don't know in here disconnect them from the power generators uh let's put that one on a little out there so this will connect that that in the next batch this one in here will connect this that into the next batch okay but don't connect them yet because if you connect them like this when this guy is gonna have 0 0.1 fuel inside of it it's gonna start to burn and it's gonna start work and it's gonna produce the power but guess what it's never gonna get filled up not him not those pipes not those pipes not the buffer you wanna let everything get filled up after everything is filled up come back connect them watch your watch your grid going up like crazy <laughs> and be satisfied afterwards it's gonna be just a part of them you know but before that let them fill up now i will not leave that because that means i'll have another connection point in there and since it's two different pipes because you're gonna have a pipe until there and a pipe from there to the next batch there's gonna be more problems for it. so the less pipes and connections you put in there the better it will be um so if you already have problems with this my advice is shut it down if your factory is going into your head see how many of these guys you have i don't know let's say you have a hundred okay well, each one of them is gonna take 50 fuel, okay? If you have 100, uh, each one of them is consuming 12, if I'm not mistaken. 
4.5, 7.5, depending on the fuel that you use. Let's say for the sake of argument that each one of them is consuming 5, okay? So you're producing oh, 400, 500 fuel somewhere in here. I don't know where. Well, 500 fuel is gonna fill up 10 of these boys in one minute. Okay, if you have 100, that means that your factory will have to stay without power for 10 minutes just to fill this boys up. Add another 10 for the buffer at the top and for all the pipes. 20 minutes, you're going to stay without power. But at the end of 20 minutes, you're going to start it and you will have no power issues. If you have that pipe on the outside connecting from place to place and in the last one after six of these okay so three batches connection three batches connection so on and so forth um, that will ensure that you pump the fuel from all the ways in order to mitigate the power issue that you have well it's pretty easy come here you grab your berries where the heck are those berries they went away I don't know. <laughs> Logistics? Did I use them in a while? Sorry. I don't know where the berries are. Jesus Christ. Special? Uh, where are the berries? Production. It, they should be here. Oh, I think I didn't see it. Biomass, coal, fuel, geothermal. Um, well, here we are. They were coal power storage. So you have a hundred of these, right? Each one of them is making 20, 100, it's way too much, but let's just say it for the sake of art. Each one of them is supplying 250. So you're gonna need 250 multiplied with 100, that's 25,000 power for 20 minutes, okay? Now, if you put these boys to the power, you're gonna have in here a store rate of 100. So for each one of them, you gotta put down two and a half of these. I have somewhere in there hidden. I don't even know how many, let's see. Uh, 2,000. So 2,000 megawatts at 100, that means I have 20. So 20 of them will provide me 2,000 megawatts for I don't know how much time. <laughs> Depends what the factory is discharging. So if you cut this voice off, this will provide power for like maybe two minutes. Well, you gotta make it five times bigger, and then you'll be able to cut your storage. Or, just a sure enough power for your blenders, whatever is producing that fuel, and let it fill up, and leave the rest of the factory on a stop, basically. Let it fill up, and only after that, start that up. Um, nevertheless, this is uh, what we have done in here. What do you think about it? So we have in here our blueprint. This thing here for fuel generators directory. Uh, I don't think I have one. No, I don't. So at the category we have in here fuel gens apply. Um, and subcategory, I want my group entity here, apply changes, close demo jiggy, select icon, generator, fuel please, select icon, select my color, now select my color, select it, save blueprint. I have the blueprint for four of them saved. Now I want to have a blueprint for two of them. So I'm going to do the right thing and delete these pipes in here in the genies because I don't know maybe you want to put this you want to put six for two of them I will not keep the outside pipe I will only keep this part okay because as I told you the more connections pipes you have the worst is gonna get so this is my blueprint for two of them I'm gonna keep the power pole in there because it's gonna be near the guess what and I'm gonna come in here and see Two of them. Take care it doesn't keep the director in here. You gotta select it again. Boop. It keeps the rest. Save blueprint. 
that uh, let me clear this and test it uh, give me back my stuff think now uh, out and about uh, it's gonna be like shit because I don't have auditions here it is what it is I need 10 let's see okay that's my entry point white arrow gonna have four gonna have another four and then gonna come with two in the end I mean how easy is to put down 10 field generators this one takes so much time in the real life it's just a standing let's do it the right way just to show you how I would do this the right way okay I connect those connect those in here oh my god power give me the power let me float should I connect those yeah because the gens are not connected yet. gotta connect this middle power bolts in here don't connect your power bolts yet okay to the generators because they will consume a power you're gonna need crosses in here at the end because for two of them we haven't put any magigis of course they will not be aligned okay Remember that they will not be aligned. What I'm doing here on the grass, nothing is aligned. Uh, we'll just call it the line, close our eyes, and that's it. Okay, so like that, like that, like that. You just made your 10 field generators, everything is ready to go. Let's pretend that your refineries, blenders, whatever they are. They're pumping the fuel on that Mark 1 pipe or Mark 2, or whatever it's gonna be. You gotta make sure that you pump in all the free pipes. Okay, so put a cross in here, put a cross in there, put a cross in there. Connect. Sorry? Connect that one. Shit. Gotta get a little closer. That one it's way off BAG, but it's fine. We're gonna forgive it this time. Thank you. Now you're pushing fuel through this. If you want to have those pipes, guess what? This guys will work, this guys will work, this guys maybe will work, this guy no. Those guys will never see the fuel. Never. Maybe they're gonna see it in the beginning, but after half an hour, bye bye generators. You're gonna have issues. Having like this, you're fuel is gonna travel through that pipe to that pipe it's gonna come in here and be fed into that in order to make even sure that everything is gonna be fine you're gonna plant the buffer in there just like that it doesn't have to be anything special let all of your fuel power generators have all the 50 fuel in here let this guy fill up a list to here okay and you're never gonna have issues yes you're gonna have to wait after to fill up those boys in there take a lot of fuel these guys take a lot of fuel those guys take a lot of fuel let your game run for i don't know so in order to fill this one up um 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes half an hour go make a sandwich smoke a cigarette if you're a smoker drink a juice i don't know go out with your dog do something else let it fill up only after that when it's filled up start it up you will never ever have issues with the generators here now <laughs> if you're gonna make something amazing like 200 of them uh don't go for it okay go on the side uh go with the blueprint please so go in here with them and go on the side and repeat the same process in here. Of course, everything will have to be marked two pipes in here. Uh, don't bring it only on one. Have your four, five, six blenders delivering one in here. Other five, six blenders on the other one in here. Other five, six blenders on the other side. In there. Put them side by side. Don't go with it all the way in there. Because don't forget, only three pipes, okay? It's the best thing ever. You ain't never gonna have issues with it. Yep, that's what it's all about. 
so i think we're gonna leave this one in here guys thank you so much for being here for watching this if you like it don't forget to smash the like button for me it really helps and if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full-time content you can do that by grabbing yourself an amazing membership thank you again i'll see you in the next one take care of you all